Hey what's up masters namaste my name is prince aryan and i am from class 6 today in this video we are going to learn how to find the circumference of a circle so without wasting much more time let's start our video so here i have a question on the paper what is the circumference of a circle if the radius is 7 cm so also here another thing this kind of question you can uh, you can get different answers uh, it depends on the value of pi that you take so here also i have written you can get multiple answers but they are almost the same means almost the same if you round off them they will only round off to a fixed number also i have written they depend on the value of pi that you take now let's first take the rough value of pi so as we know that pi's value we know that uh, usually we um, just take it as 22 upon 7 as the pi's value uh, so first let's solve with this so in that the formula of the circumference of a circle is 2 pi r okay so Uh, first of all this thing is written as like that because that means 2 multiplied by the value of pi multiplied by r this means that so that means 2 multiplied by r means 2r and 2r we all know 2r means d means diameter so 2 radius will give diameter this thing i hope you have the basic idea okay so that means 2r is equal to d this thing is uh, another thing we need to understand so that means we need to find the diameter first of all so what we will do we will just multiply 7 two times i mean 7 multiplied by 2 7 times 2 is equal to 14 cm 14 cm is the diameter of the circle so that means 14 cm is the you can say as the d or diameter so now we need to find the circumference so we need to multiply this value with pi so now first example we have taken the pi's value as this one so let's multiply 14 into uh 22 by 7 now uh, you only say that how are you going to find the answer of this type of question you will simply 7 ones are 7 here we are going to uh, divide with 14 answer is 2 that means what we get 2 multiplied by 22 which is 44 cm is the circumference of the circle now 44 cm is not the exact uh, value if we take pi's value as as 3.14 okay 3.14 it's a bit more uh, exact value bit more so then if we apply the same formula what will happen so 14 multiplied by 14 is a diameter 14 cm multiplied by 3.14 what will be the result i'm doing your multiplication also for you You see, four fours are sixteen. Carry it one. So four ones are four plus one five. Four threes are twelve. Then the same thing we are going to copy down here because it that's one six. Then nine. Here we get three. Here we get four and a decimal point over here. Okay. So then our answer is forty three point nine six centimeter. now you see we have got more so this if you round off this number we will get that for 44 cm only but here you have got a more exact now let's take the more accurate value of pi assume pi as 3.14 more three digits we will take 159 let's see now what will be the result of this number okay so first of all we are going to multiply that now you need to do a very very big multiplication 
so let's do that i'm doing very very big multiplication for you for so that you can understand right so uh, let's first multiply 3 1 4 1 5 9 multiplied by 40 okay now let me do it a bit fast okay here we can see that's quite simple okay i hope you can see now we'll just add it the addition of this value would be 6 now i'm doing it a bit fast 2 2 8 9.5 okay point here because we have point here Point here, and here we get three, four, three. Okay, done. What's the uh? We can see the product as forty-three point nine eight. Okay, forty-three point nine eight two two six. Now see, this is here. You get a more accurate result. Okay, see how accurate we are getting the answers as. First, we get here. A rough answer, another rough answer here. But as you know that pi is an irrational number. Rational number. Now I know that all of you know what is irrational number. That means this number, if you divide it, twenty-two divided by seven, what will be the answer? Three point one four. Okay, three point one four one five nine. One four one five nine one four one five nine and it will continue like that and it will never end. So you can see that what we have understood that if to find the circumference of the circle you need to uh, take any value of pi. The best value is this value which you can take, which will be very helpful if you want to find the exact. You can say the most accurate answer. Okay. For examinations or competitive exams, usually you can take the value as this, or you can take the value as twenty-two by seven here. Okay, so this three from these three values you can take any one. So thank you for watching this video till the end, and I will be meeting you in my next video till then. Bye bye everyone.